Coming up next, we present this heavyweight championship fight between Daniel Cormier and Stipe Miocic. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Miocic is 35, Cormier is 38. Miocic is fun. You ready? You ready? All right, here we go. UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Let's see which man exits as the consensus baddest man on the place. Good punch. Oh, he's got it going tonight. Beautiful combination of strikes there by Cormier. Punch coming, it's blocked. Lands a big right hand early. Now a right hand. Oh, Huge that's hook. A big hook to the chin. Hard jab. He's teeing off with some vicious shots. Well, he got his head snapped back by that straight hand there, and he's shown a vulnerability tonight by leaning right into that punch as he tries to set up his own offense. May want to focus on some defense here moving forward. He's back in the half guard now. Grabbing the hold of that neck. He's looking for that guillotine. And he's out of the guillotine. Caught him with a punch. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. And he gets reversed. Under three minutes remain in round one. Working on another submission attempt here. Trying to work that arm underneath the chin. His opponent's defending well. And now he's got that arm under the chin. And he's out. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Tax him. That one hurt. And a nice jab. Just misses with the jab. There's there. a nice exchange. Good shots by the champion. Oh, there's that patented heavy leg kick. Oh! Both guys landing with conviction now. Oh, straight right. High kick! Oh! Miocic appears wobbling. Oh, he might be out. on the ground here, always trying to better his position. Cormier gets touched by that leg kick attempt. He got tagged there. That shot blocked by the heavyweight Miocic. He hit him with the hook. Miocic's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Press out for the end of round one. Let's get to round two. This, oh, this could be it right here. Oh, he might be out. Inside control. Well, just because you're on your back doesn't mean you can't throw off that. Staying busy here. You'd like to see that, Joe. Cormier gets in the clinch again. This has historically been a good position for him. Let's see how he attacks here. the over-under here, and they both stand up. Another shot. Oh, that's some wrestling right there. Just over three minutes to go now. That's it! That'll do it! He landed a huge barrage. All right, here now Bruce Buffer with the...
Coming up next, it is a... Our tale of the tape for this much-anticipated middleweight encounter. Romero is 14 years the elder. He will have a one-inch reach advantage. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's well, go. what a venue this is for MMA. We are underway right here at Scotiabank Arena in Toronto, Ontario. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Caught him with a punch. Edge of your seat action as expected so far. He's doing a real good job of landing those punches. The Olympic silver medalist Romero gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Gotta shore up the defense here, though. Lands a good series of kicks here. Hit nice him hard point. with that hook. Misses a huge hook to the head. Oh, big shots. center line. Doing an excellent job blocking here. He's just laying an outstanding leg kick. How about that chin? Try to establish that jab. Lands an outside leg kick of his own. Oh, oh. there's a big shot. up again here, but hurting. Well, that one should leave a mark. Outstanding. Oh, we're here we get here. This fight is dangerous. Oh, oh, is oh, oh, what a way to end the round. Saved by the bell. He got stunned by a huge shot right before. All right, let's get to round two. That last round was absolutely insane. Both guys got rocked. If they continue at that pace, someone's going to sleep in this round. Yoel is very relaxed and loose until he explodes. And he has worked very hard on managing his energy inside the octagon because he's had some problems in the past where he kind of gassed out a little bit, he got fatigued. So he's really gotten very good at relaxing until he explodes. And he lulls guys to sleep. And then out of nowhere, you see lightning fast, explosive power. Oh, big nice knee! Oh. He's got him hurt here. Oh. Oh. oh! Hard straight punch. Oh! oh. Cut, but missed. Well, this is live in real time. We didn't. Oh! He's got to be careful there. Don't rush in. Big body shot. shot. Body. Now a right hand. Both men landing in that exchange. 
Foster's shot there is blocked. Well, there's a swing and a miss. His cardio is really abandoning him at this stage of the fight. It's oh, we heard him again. Oh, oh. He's, trying to... he's trying to hang on. Big body, body shot. shot there, too. Really swung for the fences with that hook, but misses. Shot from the bottom. Huge the elbow, elbow there. to the head. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Tries to move to half guard, but can't. One minute to go in round two. He's now working from full guard. Transitions to full guard. Joe doing a nice job here, staying busy from the bottom. Oh, that punch will count. Landed flush. And busy as he looks to improve position here. 15 seconds remain in the round. Into half guard again. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. Last nice round, guys. You ready? You ready? Let's go. Third fight. round underway. movement on the ground here, always trying to better his position. Just tagged him with the right hand there. In half guard now. Oh, he lands a elbow. huge elbow to the head. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. Half guard here. Excellent movement here on the ground. He's got a half guard here. Yeah, he's back in the half guard here. Very nice move to side control. Three minutes now to go on the fight. Still holding the back. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. They're canceling each other out. Big oh, elbow there, man, nice. that is rough. Now he's in half guard. He lands a big shot from the bottom. And he moves into the mount. Nasty elbow lands to the head. He's back to full mount again. Hip escape. Gets out of the full mount. Let's see if he can pass that half guard. Well, just because you're on your back doesn't mean you can't throw offense. Staying busy here. You'd like to see that, Joe. Back to full guard again. Perfectly timed sweep. Very nice sweep winds up in his opponent's guard. And busy as he looks to improve position here. 45 seconds remain in the round. He's got the clinch. He's back to his feet, but he's hurt. And now he's got that tight clinch. Wow. Beautiful KO late in the fight.
Well, that's exactly what UFC President Dana White is looking for. You gotta try to keep the judges out of the equation because you don't know what the scorecards are gonna read. So instead of maybe sitting on a lead down the stretch, Joe, he went for the knockout, and it certainly materialized organically there, landed the huge shot, debilitated his opponent, and gets the desired knockout result here tonight. Let's take a look at that again. And here we see it one more time. Look at the timing in this shot. Bang. And there he is after a massive knockout here tonight. Near perfect execution and a seminal moment for him here in the Octagon tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliante has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 45 seconds of the third round. Referring the winner by knockout, Yoel, soldier of God. So here is Joel Romero, well past the...